On-site builders and general contractors have the same basic concerns when building an ICF home. How will ICFs impact the building process from beginning to end? Is it more profitable? Will it be worth it for my company to learn? And can it help set my business apart from my competition and be even more marketable? The following will answer some of these questions as we walk through the ICF construction process and hear from the people who work with the reward wall systems on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of builders first think of a new system going into the exterior walls and having to recreate the plans and going back and have it be an expensive uh, venture from the design process. but. ICFs are unique to the point where we can actually alter and cut the forms out in the field to virtually meet any exterior wall dimension or any wall height that actually is already drawn up for stick frame or steel frame construction. At Reward Wall Systems, we can assist you with the most basic or complex ICF designs. With our solid support, you'll have access to our technical and application staff, along with the most comprehensive code approval support available. And most importantly, it's all just a phone call away. One of the important things with reward walls is there is a local distributor that I can work with. And this means that I can have a person come over to the site if we have a problem, uh, you know, and explain it. We really have not had any major problems at all. They're usually all taken care of ahead of time. And reward walls, the support is fantastic. Uh, they have training classes for new contractors, and uh, it's just a very well run operation. Reward designs the most innovative and versatile ICFs on the market today with one goal in mind. That is to provide our builders with the most user-friendly and efficient products in the industry. Like traditional construction, the ICF framing process begins with a properly constructed footing or slab. ICF walls are started by stacking in the corners and working towards the center. As the wall is stacked, the block joints are staggered similar to traditional masonry. And with Rewards iForm, it's universal by design and reversible. There is no top or bottom, and there's no left or right. As the forms are stacked, reinforcement and bracing are added. Horizontal and vertical rebar is placed according to the engineering tables found in Rewards product manual. The iForm product offers five rebar positions that allow flexibility and placement of the steel reinforcement. Upon reaching a window or door, ICF blocks are easily cut to form openings, where wood or vinyl bucks are then placed to frame the opening. As the structure takes shape, Rewards R-Base Bracing System is installed to keep the walls plumb and aligned during the concrete pour and provide a working scaffolding system. When you're watching a crew put this up, you may think, well, gee, they're a little slower than a framing crew. But after you poured it, you're a step ahead of the framing crew. You've already insulated it. It has a permanent vapor barrier. And if you have the proper size crew for the size of the project, I would say you can efficiently pound nail for nail with a framing crew as the project is being built. Before the pour, rough-in sleeves for electrical, mechanical, and any other required penetrations are installed by easily cutting through the ICF forms. Once all the components are installed, a final check is performed to make sure there are no gaps, rebar is in place, and the bracing is secure with the walls being plumb. Blocks interlock in one inch intervals, so all your dimensions stay the same whether you build that wall eight feet tall or a hundred feet tall. When you get to the top, it's going to be the same dimension that you started with at the bottom.